Hello everyone, you're welcome back to Craft Fashion Media. My name is Eva Rosie. In today's demonstration, I will show you guys how to draft a princess seam that goes towards the armhole. So if you're new on my channel, you're welcome. And to all my returnees, I want to say thank you for all your support. So I'm going to be using the pattern that we already have on the channel for this demonstration. So if you want to find out how we got to this system, just check the link in my description box. You will find that on how to draft your basic bodies. So while transferring this pattern on the plain sheet of paper you see on the table, I am going to use a more flexible pattern. The reason is because it will allow me to fold the bust that very well in order to form my princess seam. So watch carefully what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to trace from my neckline going through my shoulder seam line connecting to the midpoint of my armhole then i will stop then i will go to the bottom and trace the bottom making sure that i'm holding on to the pattern in order not to move and i will stop at that level you see right now then i am going to close the dart and when i close the dart I am going to continue from the midpoint where I stopped before and connect towards my boss dart. Now I am going to make the lines prominent for you to see very well what I have achieved. I hope you can see the breaking point from that angle when I folded the boss dart and I had a break by the side of my armhole and that's what you are seeing right now. On my apex point I am going to move away from that point by 3 eighths of an inch and make a mark towards my right. And I'm going to mark one and a half inch below my apex point as well. From that three eighth of an inch that I marked away from the apex point, I am going to connect to my armhole. And I'm going to connect the other side of the dart towards my apex point, one inch before my apex point. As you can see, our I'm hope princess scene is formed and I'm going to blend the underbust area as well. Looking at the other line where my finger is right now, you can see it is connected direct to the apex point. It went straight to the apex point 
while the other side of the bust connected one and a half inch before the apex point so take note of that it is very very important now i am going to repeat how i achieved this in the first place so take a look at the pattern how i placed it and i as you can see the midpoint of my armhole how we folded the dart so as i folded the dart i the armhole came down to that breaking point and connected back to the bust dart as you can see so look at the midpoint of my shoulder seam it ended where the shoulder stopped so that is how it should be as you can see so that was how we achieved it now let's move over to the back panel i'm going to trace the back bodies on the paper i've already traced it and i'm making the lines prominent Connecting all the dots. As you can see, the original basic bodies. So it fitted very well into the pattern that I have on the white paper. So I'm going to find my midpoint towards my armhole area. So from that midpoint, of my armhole I am going to go up a little bit by one inch and on the apex point I am going to go up as well by one inch and I'm going to connect the dot as you can see Now that I have connected my back princess seam, I am going to move the dart on my shoulder seam line down to my armhole area. So from that point, I'm going to mark two inches, as you can see, and I will connect it to the shoulder dart with a straight ruler. So I'm going to cut that place open as well as the shoulder dart then and I'm going to close the shoulder dart to form my armhole dart. Now you can see our princess seam is formed. So I'm just going to blend the 
shoulder seam line. So I added that yellow paper for you to see the, the little distance we have in between the space that I just created and that is our back princess seam. Now I am going to cut the pattern and remove the excesses. And that is our back panel. So I'm going to cut the front panel as well. So as you can see both the front and the back panel is ready so thank you for your time thank you for watching please if you are new on my channel please i wouldn't want you to leave without hitting on that red button and also turn on your notification bell so you get notified any moment i upload a new video thank you for your time i love you all Keep sharing, keep supporting. God bless you all and I hope to see you soon. Bye for now.